I know. The, the, the bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle. But I'm I'm scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know I want to go home. I see you have been in Latin. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Gehenna, Judgment Day, <coughs> <coughs> the Apocalypse, oh, again, sister, you are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason, no all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What god watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no god who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become god. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the ninth circle. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest.
Ugh, Cammy. You killed all of them? You. Huh. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got to lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Neonate, how can I be of assistance? Of course. You have? Impressive young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Tell me of this so-called bishop. Ah, I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. Of course. Where to? 